I've had several requests to do a follow-up review of these Spexil bibs. Uh, if you search for Spexil bibs on YouTube, the first video that will come up is probably mine where I did a comparison between these bibs and another other name brand bibs. I get the question a lot, how did they last? So that video was in 2017. This is three years later. I had three pairs of these bibs. Uh, I commute to work every day. So these bibs are worn on average, you know, one and a half times a week, let's say. Um, and this is what they look like after that level of use. You can see they're fairly durable. Um, I don't know that they're exceptionally durable in the industry. I'm sure you can find a lot of bibs that would achieve this level of comfort and this level of durability over that time frame. Uh, but you won't find many of them for 20 bucks. Now, the pad, you know, I can't say that this pad is as full and cushy as it was the first day I bought this these uh, bibs but you know for me it's adequate um, but just for your reference I am a macro absorber not a micro adjuster so there are a lot of things on the bike that uh, don't bother me that could possibly bother other people I don't know if you're super sensitive down there you know I don't know. <laughs> to me, this would still be adequate. But the other thing is, I never have used chamois cream. Uh, so, I, I don't know what chamois cream, what uh, chronic use of chamois cream would do to a pad. I can't imagine it would help it out. But, um, you know, this pad has never had chamois cream on it. So, you know, I've done uh, many, many long rides in these bibs. They're comfortable. They're fine. They're good for 100 miles for sure. Uh, yeah, it's just like, uh, after all these years, the only thing I can say about these bibs is uh, they have been a tremendous value. Uh, and they're still just as usable today as the day I got them. So there's not much else to say. That's my review on the Spexel, my long-term three-year review on the Spexel bib shorts.